final day of our hot hatch tour. Or should I say that makes our me sad. hot hatch tour? Yes, I are. Yeah, yes, for sure. Yes. You'll notice, evidently, <laughs> Sam from Seen Through Glass uh, has joined me in the mini, uh, and we are in London today. And where is Paul Wallace, might you ask? Day three, ladies and gentlemen, of the hot hatch tour, including one saloon. I am coming to terms with the fact that this car has the roof line of a saloon and that is it however i am excited about today because i get to show off just how much of a hatchback sized saloon this car is well today we're throwing him a bit of a curveball we are we have joined forces because quite frankly we're sick and tired <laughs> of having a saloon following <laughs> us with 390 horsepower and four-wheel drive uh while we're Poodling around the countryside in these cars. However, Absolutely. today our excursion is through central London. We've asked Paul to meet us and prove <laughs> why hot hatches are a thing and why he should have bought a hot hatch to the hot hatch tour. 100%. I'm headed into London to meet up with Mr. JWW and Mr. Scene through glass as they pit their super minis next to my hot hatch sized saloon. I'm Okay, we have just arrived. Uh, we are at Joe Macari, who is a supercar dealer in London. You no doubt have seen us this place on both Sam's channel and mine, oh. and Paul's, who I can actually see over there. Let's go over and introduce him to the curveball. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here he is. Paul's turned up. I've already been here five minutes. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, I was a manual gearbox. <laughs> it was all right until we got it, coffee, wasn't it? It's okay. <laughs> Join me over here. The last few days, we've been in the countryside. We've heard you go on about how great your car is over there with the quad Today, system. It is going to be in its own element. Well, interesting, interesting. interesting you should mention that because today you're not going to be driving your car. What? Yeah. See, the thing is, we thought because you felt you could bring any car you wanted, yes. today is going to highlight just how important it was to bring a hot hatch on the hot hatch tour. Absolutely. So, behind this door here is your car for the rest of the day. So, I'm not driving mine. You're not driving your car? No. We thought we'd. Uh, we thought we'd. That would be so good. <laughs> well, you don't know what's behind here yet. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. I was Could be anything. Like, what did you like? Did you like the fact that it was good. automatic in your car? Did yeah. you? Right. Did you like the fact that the, it was uh, large? You felt safe and comfortable? It was spacious. That that spacious. Is 10 <laughs> centimeters longer than the whole <laughs> hatch. It's yeah, still large. You like the sound? Sounds good. It does you like sound, sound? Yeah. and, and the way you like the power, the, yeah, yeah, and the looks. Yeah. Well, I think this I car think has all of those all attributes and more, which you might as well have bought this because it's not a hot hatch. So. For sure. <laughs> so, knock on the door and see what your car is. That's just so expect. They've got the most ridiculous stuff here. Giveaway. Oh. <laughs> A little bit left familiar, hand drive. Right? Left hand drive. So, left hand drive. But you keep saying you like automatic, you like sound, you like looks, you like power. This is essentially an RS3 saloon. The curveball is, today we're driving from central London and the destination is Battersea Park. Who'd have thought it? Well, Ferrari on the Hot Hatch Tour. Who'd have thought it? RS3 Saloon on the Hot Hatch Tour. <laughs> Just same random, thing. Same <laughs> random, doesn't make any sense. So. <laughs> I think we should uh, not waste any more time because we have to make our way through the uh, hectic yes. is it a, traffic it is that a race. is it is a race. Central, it is a race. London. It is a race. It's a race. It's the first one there. Um, breaking the speed limit doesn't matter because it's not going to happen. Uh, so uh, I might be able to break the speed limit go. between the gaps of traffic. <laughs> <laughs> if you fit between the gaps. Right. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. Sport mode. <laughs> the race is on. I mean, surely <laughs> we are like super confident in this. Because, Beyond confident. I mean, yes, he's in a Ferrari, which has probably, what, four times the power of yep. the car we're in, but I'm sorry, in my mind, the completely wrong car for a city situation. 100%. Now, I've driven a 599 a couple of times, and I remember thinking, it's huge. Yeah, like, oh yeah, super wide. The bonnet is so long. You sit really it's far It's like back. steering an aircraft carrier. <laughs> like, it is huge. So on the outset, you're like, naturally aspirated V12, Ferrari, Grand Tourer, but it's colossal. Colossal, and yeah. he's in a left-hand drive version. Now I am kind of familiar with this particular car, because it was only five days ago 
that I was in this car. It doesn't look that technical. Navi, please contact your Ferrari dealer. Ooh, this hasn't got nav. Oh, Absolutely. he's going to be miserable. Also, uh, I recall traction on that thing, it, on the best of days, was a little bit sketchy. Today, it's a sort of damp autumnal road. Absolutely. Greasy Gre and grim. Just not the car. For sure. <laughs> And can, can we just retouch on the fact that we are teaming up? Because people might be saying, you know, why are we not going head yeah. to head to see which of our hot hatches? But it's not about that. It's, not about, it's that. about team hot hatch, team hot hatch versus idiot who didn't bring one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's you know, right. We like to try and do things a little bit differently each yep. day. <laughs> this car is big. <laughs> right. No surprise. They've left. I'm driving a left-hand drive Ferrari 599 GTB. Oh, left or right? And we've proved, or I think I've proved, why the path was the best one hatch <laughs> on the tour. Um, because let's face it, you guys cheated me yesterday. I, we haven't I, talked I, about I that, have, and I'm still no fuming. No recollection of that. Actually, total scam. It wasn't a cheat because it wasn't on purpose. Well, it was a mistake. It was a mistake, but then Paul just, I mean, at that point, gave up. I don't yeah. blame you so much because you went first. Cool. But anyway, yeah. I still remain that the path is better, but we're anyway, today on your channel. Anyway, today, teaming up, Hot Hatch Bros. Hail to you! Audi A3 Sportback just came out of the width restriction road, which would mean my RS3 Sportback would also fit down the width restriction. Come on! No, that's on the hottest temperature. And it blows off. Oh, green light. Whoa! And it's just gone red. I was doing a bit of research into our uh, situation because the whole okay. point of this hot hatch tour has been to put hot hatches yes <laughs> yes um through their paces in different environments absolutely to see what they're all for sure. about now in 2012 yeah the average traffic speed in london okay was just over 19 miles per hour sounds quick today yeah 2017 yeah it's just over eight miles an hour no. average speed but do you know what? As yeah. a London resident, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> right? If I'm completely honest, that yeah. sounds about right. Now yeah. on this trip, Paul's all been about the power. He's you know always what? been saying, oh, I've yeah. got the most How much horsepower? Yeah. What's your oh, 0 to 60 yeah, exactly. time? What's that thing got? Six, sure. uh, over 600, I think it's 612 horsepower? The 509. 509? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, which is how much have we got? Uh, in this? I'm two twenty-five. Okay, so nearly three times the amount of three horsepower. Three times the amount of horsepower. Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, so um, <laughs> proof will be in the pudding. Yeah, let's see that one you now, Paul. <laughs> in the mouth there on that turn, I genuinely ooh, thought that I was going to curb a wheel. God, I've got to be really soft with this. What's it scraping? I'm taking these wrong. Or slowly. I'm doing 11 miles an hour. Oh! First thing that I'm seeing in my view right now is a width restriction. Which is actually for London quite a big width restriction. It is, yeah. For those of you that you don't live here, width restrictions are supposed to basically control traffic. They're like pinch points in the yeah, road. To stop big trucks and things going down or five nine small narrow roads. Or five nine nines. <laughs> so this one, usually they're six six. This way it's seven foot, which we are just gonna freaking close our eyes just and Whoa. It's still, it's still, <laughs> even in this, I still breathe in. You do, don't you? It's, it's a nerve-wracking thing. But for Paul, if he comes this way, 
I mean, he's not getting through that. No. Without no, having a wheel. I mean, and then I, I, I wouldn't want to go through there in that car. Yeah. I barely wanted to go through this, actually. But <laughs> well, coming the other way, it depends if it comes. Speed bumps, yep. sure, how well. Actually, I'm not familiar with the ride height on a 599. It's, it's so wide that maybe his wheels are swerving. Just straddling. Yeah, exactly. But then might it scratch the undercarriage? Probably, I'm not yeah. Sure. These are quite brutal, these ones. Yeah. Oh! Just more speed bumps! That's the park! I'm there! There's a van right on my horse! Yes! <laughs> I'm actually gonna turn off. Oh. Right, I'm turning off this road, I can't deal with it. I know this place. You okay. don't want to get stuck in that traffic up the hill. Take a left here and we can... Nipperoonie! Here they go! Ha ha! See you later, This tossing. is what it's all about. Go okay, through here, nip through here. This is the beauty of the small, the small car the small amongst car. the small streets. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Do not come in my lane. And this van is as well. Like, what am I supposed to do? Oh my god. Oh, three lanes going to one. <laughs> Would I prefer to be driving a right-hand drive version to this car? Yes. Would I prefer to be driving the Mini? Yes. Oh, why, why is it out of auto? Why is it out of auto? Go back into auto. It's locked me out of automatic. Oh, God. Okay. We're at the roundabout. Yeah, yeah, this is where, literally... And this is where the entrance to the park is. Absolutely. I mean, it's been so easy and so relaxed, I wasn't even really paying attention. Yeah. I was like, what a nice, <laughs> what what a nice drive through appear. London. Yeah. yeah. Right. Th this is it. Right. Left is the car park. Okay. As I say, I will eat this hat <laughs> if Paul has got here before us. I don't see anything. It's quite a long car park, isn't it? Oh, it is a long car park. No, he's not here. Okay. He's definitely not here. I don't think he's here either. No. Okay. I'm most happy about that. No, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Speed bumps. Another reason why you, want, why, why you want a hot hatch really over here. Really aggressive Who puts speed bumps in a car park? <laughs> uh, city line. Oh, city line is such oh. good fun. This is the roundabout. Can I go, all right, Jesus, stop honking me. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what? I think one more turn and we're here. <laughs> one more turn. How long shall we pretend that we've been here for? Oh, a good hour. Here he is. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta give it to him, it does look good. I literally it does to do look good, right? Oh, he's having to take it so slow. Look at it, look, look, look at him over the bumps. It does look low, doesn't it? It does look quite low. Like, so if you look just at the gap underneath everything. the number plate there, I'm not sure I'd fancy straddling those wow, speed bumps like we so did. so much lower <gasps> than I thought it was. Look how long it's here taking! He, look, look, here he is. <laughs> how was that experience? Those speed bumps? <laughs> Those people on back in there? Uh, it took any... you longer to get along this car park than it did for us to get here. <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, it's been, it has been amazing. It's been an amazing it's three days. Amazing. Very varied. Incredible. Which I varied. like. Yeah. Sure. With, with hindsight, I would have wished to have been two weeks long. Yeah. yeah. This is it. I think the but one... this, is the first, this is the first chapter in what we, we reckon as a result of your feedback. Do we want people to suggest? The next Absolutely. Where we go category. and what category? Yeah. Car. Where we go, exactly. what category? Yeah. yeah. And, and then, then some suggestions. The tweet me some oyster. suggestions. Yeah. World is our oyster. We want to um, well, yeah, tweet Peru. comments within Europe. <laughs> <laughs> We're not. <laughs> Antarctica. <laughs> Bringing your car has added such an amazing dynamic to it because we've been able to take the piss out of you. Yeah. Actually, you so, know, if you could continue to bring the wrong car. Disclaimer. Every time we awesome. Sportback was coming until I requested a different colour. And they sent a saloon. If you cut that out of the video. <laughs> <laughs> so go and check out Sam's video because his was day one, Paul's was day two, and this is day three. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao. Bye.